morning and welcome to Power of Change Christian Church Sunday morning celebration. Good morning. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. Is it a blessing to be here on today or what? Amen. And it is early in the Amen. morning. Praise God. He rose early in the morning. He rose. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God praise for Thank that. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you on today. Hallelujah. Yes, oh Hallelujah. Welcome to Power of Change, our pre-service show. We have two services on today. Yes, hallelujah. You get to, we get, get, be able to give a double praise and double blessings oh, on yes. today. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Because this is the day that the Lord, the Lord has made, and we'll rejoice and be glad in it, yes, especially hallelujah. on Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. Am I right about it? Yes, you are right. Amen. Welcome to Power Change Pre-Show. I am your host, Hope Pagas. And I am Kiana Phillips. And we definitely welcome you here that are here with us early in the morning Amen. at our first welcome. service. Praise Amen. God for you. We Amen. praise God for you that are streaming online. Yes, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Amen. Please remember to like, share, share and, and comment. comment. Right now. Right now. Like, share, and, and comment. comment. Especially on today. Amen. I mean, if you're going to do it any other day, we do a lot of extra. Yes. But especially on today, can we please share the gospel, share, share the gospel. God's word Amen. on today. Amen. Amen. Because this is an amazing day. This is an amazing day. It's an amazing day. day. You know, and I was thinking about how this is Sunday, how on Friday, oh my God. Woo, I don't know if you weren't in the room on oh, Good yes. Friday that here. Good Friday service. Woo, my Amen. goodness. I was able to stream, and oh my God. Baby, I felt I'm, it through the stream like, God, is there. I really am sad that you were not in the building because the move of God was so amazing. And here, Amen. this place was packed out with people praising and serving God. But yes. they were talking about how it's Friday. You may, don't, don't get so caught up on Friday because mm -hmm. Sunday came, and that's oh, yes. when he rose. He rose. I mean, I love God. I love God. God for today, for the resurrection Savior. Amen. And this is an exciting time. It is. This is a time that we be able to bless God. And I just want to talk about our celebration, not just here, but with our families. Amen. Um, Amen. With our families. It's a time, yes. a lot of times we, uh, we also combine that with celebrating Jesus and teaching yeah. your children and having fun with them. And so this is my question um, for you on today, for social media, you Amen. here on today. Uh, how do you and your family celebrate on Easter? Amen. That's a good one. How do you and your family celebrate on Easter? Because a lot of times, or oh, Resurrection Sunday, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times we don't want to get too caught up in the Easter eggs, hung and right. forget to talk about what this day is really what about. But we mean. still yeah. have fun with our kids. We we cook dinner. I was telling you, I smell like celery from chopping up my celery for the dressing for the earlier dressing. this morning. So <laughs> we have family dinner and we just celebrate and we always remind them about what this day is really about. How about you? Same here. Fellowship and rem remembering the true meaning the true meaning of resurrection sunday i love it and then i'm sure my daughter would like to go find some eggs in the you know easter eggs, <laughs> eggs but yeah. but, uh, my, my, my the kids they used to like to see you know we used to have candy they want some oh, little yeah. money inside i'm like y'all a new generation <laughs> this is a new gen they don't want the jelly beans <laughs> so yeah make sure you're talking to us so we can see Amen. what you have on there we're gonna come back and we're gonna see how you all celebrate Amen. okay Amen. but also just so i told you as we are here in the building if you decide hey it's Easter. I don't want to just stream online. Amen. I want to show you how you can get here. If you don't make 9 o'clock, you can make 1130. Amen. Take a look at this video. If you are here in the St. Louis metropolitan area, all roads lead to Power of Change. 2348 Jerome Lane, Cahokia Heights, formerly known as Cahokia, Illinois. If you're in St. Louis, just cross the Poplar Street Bridge from Missouri into Illinois and take the first exit towards Cahokia, Illinois Route 3. Continue on Mississippi Avenue for one mile. Turn left on Jerome Lane and ride for three miles, and the church is on the right. How easy is that? At this very moment, the Power of Change family and friends are pulling up to the church, being welcomed by our team of greeters. We want you to know just how happy we are to see you. 
And when you're here, not only can you get your soul fed from the Word of God, but your stomach can be fed right here at Inspire Cafe. Delicious breakfast items are served by chefs, Brother Lee and Sister Michelle Spearman. This is a great opportunity for you to get something good to eat and fellowship with other Power of Change family members. If you have little ones, they can enjoy playing and burning off that energy at Kids Power Town. Power of Change Power Kids has their very own worship service right here at 10.30 a.m. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we have a scripture today. Yes. And today we'll be coming from Matthew 28, 5 and 6. It says, Then the angel spoke to the woman. Don't be afraid, he said. I know that you are looking for Jesus mm. who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. Woo. I almost shout right at He that. is I risen. I almost shout right at He that. is risen from the dead. You can stop yes. looking. He is risen. Thank he you, is God. risen for you and for everything that you need. I Amen. praise God for that scripture, Amen. especially as it combines with today. Amen. But I, I have a, a special, uh, just a, a special spoken word yeah. how this young lady really delivered what today is Amen. and what it means. Can we take a look at this? standing here in the midst of tears, allowing shame and defeat to drown me in fear. My sin is suffocating me. Look, God, I'm too dirty. I'm filthy as swine. I can never come close to perfection. How could you ever call me mine? And I know you're not asking for perfection, but Satan tries to play tricks on my mind and I can't help but to think of my sin from time to time. It's like my sin is on instant replay. But you tell me to pause and to remember what you did on that third day. Jesus, you rose from the grave and told death to excuse me, blotted out my sin and welcomed me in so you could use me, use us. See, church, there's no time to waste. His arms have been extended. This is the single reason Jesus Christ ascended so that even from his heavenly throne above, he can have a personal relationship with you and me. So don't ask, what do I need to do? All the work's been done. All you need to do is run to the risen one, Jesus Christ, the perfect son, the one who was and is and yet to come to the altar. The price of our mistakes have been paid in full and Jesus is here now and ready to make you new. See, the old shall pass away and your sins shall remain in the grave. So leave your burdens behind. Jesus. Come on. Hope has a name. Yes, Victory oh has a name. Oh, and that oh, name God. is Jesus. And we praise him for today. I said That's that good. was a mighty, mighty spoken word. Mighty, oh, mighty Jesus. in today oh, and understanding what today is about. Amen. And we must not forget that. Amen. 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 And then and we also sure. want to reflect on, to, on this month. Mm -hmm. March's uh, reflection is ministry. Amen. And it comes from 1 Peter 4 and 10. That's what our ministry is focusing on this month. It says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God, grace in its various forms. Amen. And we are just recognizing media, marketing, uh, security, ushers, greeters, hospitality, video, Amen. audio, cafe, first touch, touch, first aid. And we say thank you. Thank you. And I just want to add how on Friday, Power of Change, all those oh, yeah. ministries came showed together up and, and it up. was so magnificent. Oh, it was so excellent. And we Amen. say thank you to everyone thank that you, was in that place. That and started. as I was sitting, a, a visitor came in 
And I turned around and I said, you know, welcome to Power Change. I sat back down. As I sat back down, I heard her telling the person next to her, she said, this must be what it feel like when you're in first class. Oh, wow. I was like, well, that's, a, that's a blessing. That's a nice blessing. That you feel that you, when you come into what the house, blessing. you're so honored that's and you awesome. love, you feel the love and you feel everyone Amen. spreading love on you. That that's Amen. how you reckon us. And we say also, this is Women's History Month. Woo, woo. Women. Come on, Hallelujah. Women's History Month. Women's History Month. This is the last day of the month, and we celebrate women on all levels. Amen. Because the preacher was saying on Friday, women, we get some things done. Oh, yes, we Especially do. Especially women of God. Yes, we do. Amen. And I just had this quote, and it says, a woman is like a tea bag. You never know how strong it is until it's in hot water. That's by Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> You amen. like that? I hey, like that. Amen, 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 amen. So I just want to take a look at this special video, video. about women. Amen. What is a woman? Is a woman bold? How dare you? Is she courageous? I was arrested on December 1st, 1955. She's a fighter, risk taker, lawmaker. We're always rationalized as favors to women. Educator, creator. Anybody asks what I thought, I would write it. You see a woman, she's a leader. We, the people, have the power to build a better future. She's a believer, high achiever. Thank you for this award. More a giver than a receiver. Woman of hope. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. For the next generation to not be so cold. Women give love. I've given it to everyone I know. I Thank love you. this book. Women give light. Women are the essence of life. Is she? Is she everything that we said she wasn't? Who will have the power to shape our children for the next four or eight years of their lives? Or is she? Is she everything that she said she wanted? Just look in her soul. We can see her light shine. What is a woman? Man, hey man, thank God for our women. Celebrate Amen. Celebrate our women. All right, so now we are wanting to connect with people that are looking for ways to connect with the ministry. We have a special video for you. Check it out, please. Power of Change is where you can experience change, heal the hurts of your past, and get answers to those questions. Power of Change is a safe place where you can discover, develop, and demonstrate your divine destiny. Join us in person or virtually through Facebook, our website, or YouTube. Come and be a part of what God is doing in our lives to heal our mind, body, soul, and spirit and then we grow together. If you believe in this ministry and would like to partner with us financially to reach more souls for Christ and continue to be a blessing to our community with more opportunities for outreach, become a Power of Change partner. Your financial seed planted in the fertile soil of Power of Change Christian Church will be stewarded wisely and put to godly use for the advancement of the kingdom of God. Won't you consider giving today by using one of these six ways to give? Amen. amen, amen. And let's see what our social media told us what they like to do. And we want to welcome Tawana Cunningham and Gregory Yancey. Welcome. Jonah McReynolds says she does food and family food and as family well. family fellowship, yes. Uh, Gregory said we celebrate with family dinner, some games and some sports that are on TV. Amen. amen. March Madness going on. <laughs> and then we have Laura Boss. She says good Easter morning, PLCC family. Verna Island says happy resurrection Sunday amen. and Christine Campbell says happy resurrection good morning PLCC amen. amen we thank you guys so much for joining us on amen. today and we are excited about today and we're going to go ahead and get ready to get ready for worship I'm excited about this new series open, yes. doors, open doors as Bishop Phyllis goes into his new series Remember, we are here, and we are always here to remind you that God is the answer. And remember, on behalf of Bishop Henry Phillips Amen. and Pastor Patricia Phillips, power change is 
the, the church, church that is changing lives. God Amen. bless you. Christian Church, where we are expanding the kingdom of God by empowering people to discover, develop, and demonstrate their divine destinies. Now let's take a look at our upcoming events. Power of Change, let's reach our social media goal to reach over 10,000 viewers by going live now on Facebook and sharing with our family and friends. This month focus is ministry by serving with the heart of Christ. Remember to invite at least two people to church. Join Deeper Life Courses starting every Wednesday in April for Kingdom Life Courses 101, a journey of spiritual growth. If you need more information, please stop by the Deeper Life table. Join Bishop Henry Phillips for his sermon series, Open Doors. 2024 is the year for Open Doors. Invite your family and friends for this life-changing word. We will be loving on our Bishop Henry Phillips for his birthday on April 20th. On behalf of the entire Power of Change family, we salute you, man of God, and wish you a very happy birthday. If you are looking for a church home, then Power of Change is the place for you. We have various ministries that you can be a part of. If you would like to sign up, please stop by the next step table. And that's what's happening at Power of Change. For more information, you can visit us on Facebook at Power of Change Christian Church USA and visit us on the web at www.pocc.org. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Happy resurrection. Come on, he lives. Hallelujah. God's not dead. Come on, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for being here today. Listen, welcome to Power of Change. If you are streaming on this morning, we want to welcome you. Listen, like, share, and subscribe. We are here to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy Hallelujah. Resurrection Day. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Listen, we want to bless the Lord on today. We come here as one body, having all things common, and that is to celebrate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Why don't we get and begin to sing up a worship to him? Come on, begin to send up a praise. Come on, begin to tell him, God, you live. Thank you for living again. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Come on, I was not worthy. I was a wretch undone. But you see purpose. You see beauty in me. You see something that I didn't see in myself. I didn't deserve it, but God, you did it. You sent your only begotten son. God is not dead. He is alive. Come on and put your hands together. You may be in your kitchen still cooking. You can cut a step right at the stove. Don't get burnt though. Don't get burnt. Come on, put something on your feet. Come on. We want our feet to get light today.
your hands together one more time. Come on, lift your hands for the blood. For it washes white as snow. Hallelujah. We lift you up this morning. We give you honor and glory. Because you are the Lamb of God. We're going to lift this worship up to him. Because of what he's done. We celebrate him this morning. Come on, brother. Yeah. It's a simple song. Sing all of my worship belongs to you. I searched the world and found there is no one like you, God. You are Jesus. There is
your level of worship come on come on what he did for you come on 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 all those who are excited about what he did for you what was accomplished at Calvary come on we thank God for the cross but this morning the tomb is empty and we lift up Come on, come on, a couple more seconds before we pray. Come on, a couple more seconds. Can we take our opportunity and just lift up what he did for us? Come on, about 15 more seconds of what he did for you. Come on, let us pray. Anybody got victory in here this morning? Anybody know because he got up, you got up too. Father, we thank you. We praise you, we honor you, and we adore you. We thank you for another opportunity, God, that you've given us to come into your house of worship. And we don't take it for granted. The world has special days, and they call it Super Bowl and World Series, but today is our big day. Today we came to lift up the name of Jesus for what he did for us. And today we thank you for giving us the victory 2020 something years ago. You secured the victory for us. So today, God, we come with praise in our heart and thanksgiving on our lips, God, because you are worthy to be praised. We thank you that the prophecy was fulfilled. You didn't die, God. They didn't kill you, God, but you allowed them to do it, God. And for that, we praise you and we magnify you, God. And you said, I'll allow you to do it, but I'll raise myself up again. And we thank you for re resurrecting yourself up, God. We thank you, God, for the three-day anointing, God, that you rose on the third day, God. And when you got up, God, you got up with all power in your hand, power over death, hell, and the grave. God. So today we came to thank you for the victory that you've already given us on today, God. Today we came to lift up your name for new life. Today we came to lift up your name for new strength. Today we came to lift up your name for power. Satan has been trying to make us feel defeated and make us feel like we're not going to win, God. But today we came in here declaring the victory. Today we came in here speaking the victory. Today we came in here knowing we already got it and we praise you God for what you did for us God so we don't take a, a minute to be selfish God but we get off of ourselves and we take a few minutes and we praise up your name God because if it had not been for you that was on our side we don't know where we would be but because you was on our side we thank you for everlasting life we thank you for new life we thank you for new strength and we take a few minutes and lift up your name Come on, church, lift this name up. Thank you for giving us the victory. Thank you for securing the victory. Thank you for allowing us to have the victory. So we praise you.
you on this resurrection Sunday we praise you on this overcoming Sunday we praise you God because you've been good to us you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves so we let ourselves go we open up our mouth and we lift up your name because your name has power your name has peace your name has security your name has love there's joy in your name there's healing in your name there's deliverance in your name there's overcoming power in your name thank you for your name thank you for your name thank you for your name at that name demons tremble at that name cancer is healed at that name bodies are healed at that name minds are regulated peace in that name healing in that name deliverance in that name so we lift up your name and we magnify you have your way in this place we yield our will to your will and we say have your way like only you can and we give you praise and we give you honor in the great name of Jesus we pray and all the victorious people and all the victorious people all the victorious people that say it's more than a feeling all the victorious people give God some praise Well, if you know it's at that name, come on, give him a real praise right now. If you know it's at that name that you've got victory, at that name you've got deliverance, at that name he's brought joy in your life. Come on and give him praise in the house. Look at somebody say, at that name, at that name, at that name, at that name. At that name, I got my freedom at that name. I got saved on that name. I got filled with the Holy Ghost at that name. Look at somebody and say, at that name, at that name. The name of Jesus. Glory. I got saved calling on the name of Jesus. I want you to look at three people and say, Happy Easter Day, Happy Easter Day. Happy Easter Day to you, Happy Easter Day to you. Happy Easter Day to you, glory to God. Is there anybody that's a first time guest? If you're a first time guest, wave at me. If you're a first time guest, wave at me. If you're a first time guest, amen. And those of you all that are online, those of you all that are online, we want you to know how much we are excited about you. Can we clap for all of those that are online today? Amen, amen. Remain standing. Guess what? I'm finna go into Word. I'm getting ready to go right on into the Word. Do we have any videos from Friday? Do we have any highlights from Friday by chance? Man, did we have an incredible. Now, those of y'all with that, come on, let them hear you because it was crazy. It was crazy. Power of change, I want to say thank you. You resurrected something in my spirit. Uh, that's the uh, uh, rehearsal. That's not one of the ones that I would want to see in rehearsal. <laughs> rehearsal is over. Glory to God. Amen. I want to say that you all ran Good Friday. You ran it like a well-oiled machine. From the time people came on the lot saw the parking lot greeters waving 
all the signs in the hall, in the vestibule, the hospitality area for the pastors, and then the lunch for the pastors, the worship ministry, the media, the lights, the sound, the event team, everybody was on point. Now you know as the pastor, as the pastor, you see everything. I ain't see nothing. Either the Lord hid my eyes, or y'all was just five starring on that day. I had just about every pastor f from the region to text me, to call me, to tell me. They said, I want you to know I'm telling you in your face, I'm still in that idea. I said, steal it, brother, steal it. I give it to you. Thank you, church. Thank you, church. Thank you. I feel a revolution. I feel a reformation. I feel a new reviving of vision and unity and direction together. Amen? Amen. Let's go into the word. And Father, we love you for who you are. And we thank you for this great Sunday morning. Thank you that it is Easter. This is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you that we know that the tomb is empty because Christ is risen in our hearts. And Father, I thank you right now because somebody came to hear the spirit of what you are saying for us in this year concerning resurrection. Father, I pray for an apostolic prophetic evangelistic anointing in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you move and have your way. God, get, get us acclimated to the anointing in the house. God, we don't want to just hear. We want to celebrate. Our risen Savior, we give you praise in Jesus' name and the people of God say, Amen. Matthew chapter 27. Matthew 27, I want to look at verse 50. 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 Matthew chapter 27. Hallelujah. He brought the best in me. He saw the best in me. Right? Yeah, that's it. Everyone else around me can only see the worst in me. How many know that's your testimony this morning? Yeah. Matthew 27, 15. And the word of the Lord was said to us, and Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yield up his spirit. Do you all see that? Yes. Then behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom and the earth quaked and the earth quaked somebody said and the earth quaked and the rocks were split and the graves please look at this and the graves were open and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Hallelujah. And coming out of the grave after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Now, I thought that Jesus was the only one that was raised on Sunday morning. Can I read that one more time? Yeah. Verse 52. And the Bible says here, and the graves were open. It didn't say one, it said graves. <laughs> and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the grave after his resurrection, they went into the holy city they went into jerusalem yeah. 
and appeared and, and showed themselves to many. I just want to use for a title for just a minute here. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. the preview of the upcoming attraction. Look at somebody else because they don't understand where we're going today. Tell them, say, it's the preview <laughs> of the upcoming attraction. Can you write that? Give God a hand praise and give him glory. Uh, be seated in the presence of the Lord. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to look at this because as we focus on the most victorious day in Christianity, which is Easter slash Resurrection Sunday, we focus on our Savior rising from the dead. When he rose from the dead, uh, our Lord and Savior was not just rising to save the lost. He didn't rise so believers would one day go back with him to live in heaven. No, he rose from the grave to become the supreme Lord of the universe. I'm going to say it again. Many of us think that he rose from the dead just to save us, just to bring us back to heaven with him. No, that was not the reason why he rose alone. Uh, he rose to take his universe back. This means that he came the rightful ruler and sovereign authority over every aspect of the universe, including the spiritual realm, the earthly kingdom, and the future of humanity. His resurrection signifies his triumph over the power of sin, the power over death, and the rulers over darkness in high places. Christ's dominion extends to every corner of the cosmos. Now I'm going to break that down because you need to understand what I'm saying. It encompasses not only the present reality, but also the future future fulfillment of God's kingdom where Jesus will reign as king of king and lord of lords. Somebody say he reigns. Please understand what do you mean by that bishop? What I'm saying is that when Adam sinned, I'm going to get to Adam again, but when Adam and Eve sinned, you must understand that God gave Adam and Eve authority uh, not just over their destiny but over the universe. He gave us authority over the universe. That's the reason why we not only have dominion and not only operating on planet Earth, but we messing around on the moon. I'm going to wait till I get my visitors. Y all, y all, did y'all get y'all coffee today? Uh, 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 listen here we, we're messing around with Mars we, we're looking at the, why because God gave us dominion over everything in the seen realm everything in the natural realm God wanted he, uh, uh, Adam to be over everything not just the planet but the universe y'all quiet up in here uh, God wanted to reign and be in charge of the unseen realm but we were given the seen realm that's the reason why we can go in the ocean and find cures for diseases because he's given us dominion. That's the reason why there has not been an animal that has been able to rule over men because he gave us dominion. Somebody preach with me and say dominion. Listen here, my brothers and sisters, this is the reason why we celebrate Easter because our God is awesome. He reigns over heaven 
and now over earth. Y'all quiet up in here. With wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. Uh, somebody say he reigns. Uh, if you know that he reigns and if you really believe that, can you just give him 10 seconds of a hand praise and celebrate that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that your God is reigning. It may not look like it, but he's reigning. It may not feel like it, but he's reigning. Things may look bad, but he's still in control. The doctor may have given you a bad report, but God is still on the throne. Let's go deeper. Because celebrating Jesus from arising from the dead this Easter morning is what we should do. But while we are celebrating death, burial, and resurrection uh, of Jesus this weekend, the book of Matthews that we are just looking at tucked in two quick short verses. For the most part, on Easter, that most preachers will probably miss this morning because they're only going to talk about he got up. But I couldn't get away from these two small passages of scripture that says not only did he get up, but they got up. Uh, can we look at this here in Matthews chapter 27 verse 50 look at that one more time put that back up again and Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit then then somebody say then it was when he yielded his spirit uh, after he said it, it is finished, yielded up his spirit. Then behold, the veil of the temple was torn from two, from top to bottom and the earthquake and, and the rocks were split. Watch this. And the graves were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep watch this were coming out of the grave on his resurrection day and they went into the holy city to appear when he got up can we talk about this here? Please understand how theologically profound this text uh, 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 is for the Christian and our faith. Literally, uh, this literally means that Jesus didn't rise from the dead alone. It means that when he rose, there were saints of old that rose from the dead with him. Now, who are the saints of old? We're talking about Jesus launched the New Testament so these have to be the Old Testament saints I'm going to wait till I get my crowd again y'all should have drunk your coffee today uh, 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 listen this is the Old Testament saints uh, that are rising up because the New Testament didn't start until Jesus rose from the dead don't, don't mess with me up in here you do know that John the Baptist was the last of the Old Testament standing in the New Testament. He was the last Old Testament prophet while Jesus was said, I'll take over from here and become the New Testament prophet, bringing in a new covenant. Somebody said something old, something new. Look at this, my brothers and sisters. Uh, when we look at this, we must understand that there were others that got up. Now, to fully understand this biblical text, uh, we must take a quick flashback, uh, a quick look back of how did we get to uh, people rising from the dead that was called the saints of old. You must go to Genesis chapter number three. Uh, I encourage you to go there with me right now. Genesis chapter number three and when we look at this notice what the word of the Lord says and uh, verse 22 Genesis 3 and 22 and the word of the Lord says here then the Lord God said behold a man has behold the man has become like one of us I feel like preaching right now he's become like one of us uh, uh, to know good and 
evil. And now lest he put out his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he had taken. So he drove out the man. He drove out the man and he placed cherubims, that's angels, uh, at the east of the garden of Eden. In other words, at the east gate of Eden with a flaming sword which turned every way. Turned every way to God. Y'all not hearing me. The way to the tree of life. Uh, can we talk about it for a second here? Uh, the consequences of Adam and Eve eating the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil as described in the Bible in the book of Genesis it has multifaceted, profound uh, encounters and consequences. Uh, please understand, number one, it brought spiritual separation from God. When Adam ate the fruit, he disobeyed God. Somebody said, break it down. In other words, because uh, 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 I used to say, God, why did you put the tree of knowledge of good and evil uh, in the garden in the first place? Had you not put that in the garden in the first place, we wouldn't be having this problem in the second place. <laughs> Y'all quiet up in here. <laughs> God, I mean, you, you, I feel like we were set up and God rebuked me. And God says, you mean to tell me I can't put my property? I can't put my possessions, I can't put my belonging near you without you stealing from me? without you robbing from me, without you taking from me. I told you, don't mess with it. I told you, this ain't one of yours. I told you, this is my belonging. But yet still, you felt like you were so big, so bad, so strong, and so mighty until you can even take from me. Yeah, you're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. So please hear this, my brothers. When they did that, they created an offense with God because they stole from God. And if we were still from God, we are still from one another. Are y'all still with me this morning? So watch this. We are separated from God. We have no fellowship with God because we stole from God and was unable to pay it back. Number two, please hear this. Place me my towel. Number two, and this is so important. Uh, now we have the knowledge uh, of good and evil. Yeah. Bishop, what's, what's, what's wrong with the knowledge of good and evil? You must understand that word knowledge is not talking about intellectual property. It's talking about an experiential knowledge. In other words, God says, I never meant for you to experience evil. I only wanted you to experience good. Because when I made you, I said it was good. Y'all quiet up in here. <laughs> oh, okay, well, let, 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 me, let, me, let me break it all, all the way down. Because uh, us brothers, can I just be real with you? After he made us, he said it's not good. I'm just going to tell, I got to preach the whole scripture. I got to preach the whole Bible. I, I got to tell it like it. I wanted to change that. I thought King James messed it up. But uh, he's, after he worked all day, all night, all night, he still looked at us and said, it ain't good. And so, uh, but until he took the woman up out of us, not only did we, he said it was good, we said it was good. We said, flesh of my flesh. Bone of my bone. Y'all quiet up in here. Uh, uh, listen here. Uh, it, it's important that he wanted us to experience what was good and what was exciting and what was joyful. But he never meant for us to experience sickness and disease. He never meant for us to experience depression and mental illness. He never meant for us to experience what it means to be raped by your father. It never meant for us to experience injustice and, and, and the prejudice of life. He never meant for us to experience it. He knew that if we bit into that 
fruit, we will open up a can of worms that we are unable to deal with. So now we experience good and now we experience evil. And then we also, because of their disobedience, uh, experience physical death. Uh, you want to know the reason why it's so hard for us uh, when family members are laid here to comprehend it. Uh, because something in us says live. I'm going to wait till y'all come on with me here. Something in us says, don't die. That is a law that is broken within our nature that says we should live forever. And that's the reason why we are broken when we have uh, things that don't last for a lifetime uh, because we were created for eternity. Tell somebody I was created for eternity. And not only do we experience death, but we also experience the curse on creation. In other other words, there used to be a time that you could walk by a lion and pet it like a puppy. <laughs> but now try it and see what happens. Uh, ah, yes, sis. Uh, 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 no. The lion and the lamb ain't, ain't sleeping together today. No, no. That's when the new heaven and the new earth comes when he restores it back to its original. I wish I had some help up in here. Back to its original state. Uh, now we've got to fight the lion, the tiger, and the bear. Now we've got to fight not only the lion but we got to fight uh, all of the creation that walks the streets in our neighborhood we got to lock our doors because there's a curse upon us uh, and speaking of that we now wrestle with broken relationship even with ourselves uh, because at first uh, uh, Adam was saying flesh of my flesh bone of my bone but now the next time you see him he's blaming Eve Eve blaming the serpent uh, everybody he's blaming God it's the woman you gave me everything is happening it is so toe up it is so chaotic until God says get them out lest they eat the fruit of eternal life what does that mean that means that if they eat the tree of eternal life I can't change them their sins their curse will be for eternity he didn't kick them out because he didn't like them and he didn't love them. He kicked them out because he loved them. Get them out! It's messed up! It's all torn! It is all shattered! This is not the blueprint! Get them out! Don't let them back in because they are not holy enough to restore what they stole. Oh, y'all yeah, not in the house with me. So now, we've got an issue because no matter how much we try to enjoy life, we die. If this door is eternal life, this cross is the barricade to eternal life. It's another tree. Or could it be the same tree. It's now ugly. It looks abused. When Eve saw it, it was beautiful. It was desirable. It was appealing. But when we get to Calvary, that tree is ugly. Nothing to be desired. Nothing lovable about it. Uh, nothing appealing about it. Uh, and every time we come to this tree, God says, can you replace what you stole? You, you must, must, must understand, my brothers and sisters, that if you died on the cross, you're guilty as charged because you've committed sin. Ah, God needs someone to die that is sinless. 
Y'all quiet up in here. Can I break this all the way down? So watch this, and I've got to hurry here, because y'all the 9 o'clock crowd, all right? Now, the 9 o'clock crowd is supposed to be the ones that are supposed to be shouting, dancing, and running all around. Y'all, y'all done got old on me, I see. Because of sin, we have been sentenced to eternal death. The cross is the barricade to the tomb. When you die, there is no return from death. Meaning once you die, you can't get out. There is no life after death. Once you die, you live in hell. But please understand this. When Jesus went to the cross, I, I, I need you to understand there was a mystery a mystery somebody say a mystery there's a mystery a mystery that happened at the cross because when Jesus went to the cross he went as the fruit that was stolen from Adam he was the Adam and he was the fruit and when he went to the cross, he put the fruit of righteousness, the fruit of holiness, the fruit of obedience. Oh, he wrestled in the garden of Gethsemane. He said, I don't want this. If there's any way for this cup to pass, let this cup pass. I don't want to obey anymore. I don't want to do what you called me to do. But he understood until we get that fruit back on that tree, we will be be cursed forever and I'm so glad that he didn't have to do it but he did can anybody give him 10 seconds of praise because he did it just for me <laughs> they beat him as the last Adam all the way back to the tree. They whipped him all the way back. They slugged him all the way back. They stripped him of all of his clothes. I know when you all look at it, they see that they put that little garment over him. No, they took all of his clothes off because they no longer saw him as a human being. They beat him black and blue. They put crowns of thorns. The thorns is about as long as your smallest finger. And they beat it on his head. Oh my God, today uh, they beat it on his head. Uh, tell somebody that should have been you. Uh, that should have been you. That should have been you. Uh, you deserved it because you're the sinner. Uh, you deserve it because you're the one that disobeyed. You deserved it because you're the one that crossed the line. Even right now, God's trying to get you into righteousness, but you got plans. You got plans. You got plans. And yet, still, while we were your sinners, uh, Christ died. He died as Adam and he hung as a fruit. In other words, he was saying, God, I'm restoring the fruit that you've been looking for. I can't get no help up in here. I can't get no help up in here. The property that was stolen from you, I got it. And I'm restoring back what was taken from you. And when he hung, y'all quiet up in here, as the fruit that was stolen from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and yet still he hung as the guilty Adam, y'all quiet up in here, that was slain for my sins, the the curse was broke. Tell somebody he hung there. He hung there holy and blameless. He hung there uh, as the fruit of disobedience. Uh, and when he hung there, he said, 
paid in full. Paid in full. Paid in full. I don't know who needs to hear me right now, but I'm here to tell you right now that God is saying it's paid in full. What you went through, what you did, paid in full. All of the sins of your past, paid in full. All the sins that you're dealing with right now, paid in full. Guess what? All the future sins that you were missing in, paid in full. If you're glad about it, why don't you jump on your feet? Help me prophesy and preach on this Easter morning. Tell four people it's paid in full. Whoa! Uh, tell somebody, come on, get out of your seat. Uh, paid in full. Be seated one more time and I'm done. Watch this. So when Jesus said it's paid in full. Paid in full. The Bible says he died and went to the lower part of the earth. He went to hell. Now please understand this. There's two compartments in hell. The one compartment were the unbelievers. Another compartment where the believers were. It was called Abraham's bosom or paradise. Y'all quiet up in here. Ah, I know I hear preachers talking about I don't believe in that 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 bed, deathbed salvation. Too bad for you. But God made sure that we got that on record. Because the thief on the cross told the other thief, this man has done nothing wrong. This man has done nothing amiss. And looked at Jesus and had enough breath to say, remember me. That's all I'm going to say. If I can't say anything else, God let my last breath be. Remember me. I don't care what you're facing. I don't care what trouble you're dealing with. I don't care if you're in a bad accident. All you've got to say, remember me. Can I get five people to holler with your voice? Lord, remember me. How many know that he's got a good memory? How many know that he's got a good memory? How many know that he's a heart fixer and a mind regulator? Clap your hands and give him glory. Well, I'm about to close here. And he brought us up here. But look at this. He's down in hell. In the compartment called paradise. He's letting them know. I'm the one. That Isaac. Abraham. Isaac. And Jacob. Talked about. I am the one. That divided the Red Sea. I am the one that was bread when you had no bread. I am the one that was manna come from heaven. I am the one that knocked the walls of Jericho down. I am the one uh, that became the sacrificial lamb uh, when Abraham was ready to kill his son. Uh, I am the one uh, that when David uh, was slinging his slingshot, uh, it changed uh, because I was the spirit uh, on the rock. Uh, 
y'all quiet up in here. Uh, who is the rock? Uh, that rock is Jesus. Uh, he, uh, he is the one. Uh, I am the one. Uh, I'm the bread. Uh, when you're hungry, uh, I am water. Uh, when you're thirsty, uh, I am the one. Uh, I am the bridge uh, over troubled water. Uh, I'm the doctor uh, in the sick room. Uh, the lawyer uh, that never lost a case. Uh, I am that I am. Uh, I am that I am. Uh, whatever you need. Uh, me to be in your life. I am El Shaddai. I will supply all your needs according to your riches and glory. Tell somebody Jesus is the I am the I am. Now watch this. I'm closing here. But watch this. He went down and preached three days letting him know I'm just not another regular saint that died and came to paradise uh, I am the one that you've been waiting for I'm the seed of Abraham uh, and the son of David uh, I am the one uh, and when they realized uh, that he was the one uh, that they can look to the hills uh, they heard him say uh, Lift up your heads, uh, O oh ye gates, uh, and be ye lifted up, uh, ye everlasting Father, uh, and the King of glory uh, shall come in. Uh, who is the King of glory, uh, the Lord strong and mighty, uh, the Lord mighty in battle, uh, knock down uh, the doors uh, of hell, uh, knock down uh, the gates of hell uh, and went on Sunday morning uh, walking in uh, and when he got up uh, he said watch this uh, the Bible said uh, that a few of them many of them it didn't say all of them it just said many of them got up with him and this is how I see it this is liberty with the passage. But I can see Jesus saying, he said, now all of you all are getting ready to relocate. I'm bringing you out of paradise and you're about to live with me forever. But before you go to heaven, I got to stop for a few days on earth. I just need some previews. I just need some previews to come on up with me and I need you to be the preview of the upcoming attraction. I need somebody to say listen here you know I was dead you can tell by my clothes you can tell by my look you can tell by my accent I look like your great 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 grandfather I'm your great 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 grandmama but I just need you to see uh, the preview uh, of the upcoming attraction. Uh, many of them uh, said, Jesus, uh, I'll go uh, and I'll say, look at me. Uh, I'll show myself uh, because many of them uh, thought I took my last breath. Uh, many of them uh, thought I was gone forever. Uh, many of them said, uh, ashes to ashes, uh, dust to dust, uh, but I'm back. Uh, and I'm here to tell you uh, that if he did it for me, uh, get ready. Uh, this is just uh, the beginning uh, of a great victory. Uh, the beginning uh, of something glorious. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I'm here uh, as a preview uh, of the upcoming attraction. Uh, when he saved me, uh, when he delivered me, uh, that's just a small beginning uh, of what he's going to do. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that can say Jesus uh, made me a preview uh, to my family? Uh, 
I'm not by myself. Uh, I've got some others uh, because the Bible said uh, it wasn't one, uh, but it was many uh, that came out. Uh, it was many uh, that came out uh, worshiping God. Uh, it was many uh, that came out uh, magnifying God. Uh, it was many uh, that came out uh, testifying. Uh, I am uh, a preview uh, of the upcoming attraction. Uh, I am uh, a preview. Uh, I am uh, a new beginning. Uh, I am uh, a glimpse uh, of what yet yet to come. Uh, is there any previews uh, that will declare uh, he is uh, a deliverer uh, from alcohol? Uh, is there any previews uh, that will declare uh, he is uh, a deliverer uh, from drugs? Uh, is there any uh, previews uh, that will declare uh, he'll pick you up? He'll turn you around. He'll place your feet uh, on solid ground. Uh, he'll put clapping uh, in your hand, uh, chopping uh, in your feet. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's Easter morning. Uh, when he got up, uh, I, I got up with him. Uh, say yeah. Say yeah. I feel a Baptist spirit right here. I know he's all right. It's a preview. He hasn't finished what he started in you. It's just a preview. Resurrection is in my spirit. He's still working the curse out of me. He's still working sin out of me. Y'all quiet up in here. You're the preview. And the more people can see your Old Testament life change into a New Testament life, uh, they'll know that the tomb is empty. Uh, because Christ is risen in your life. Can you clap those hands for 30 seconds? Tell your personal testimony and tell him, thank you, Jesus. Tell him, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for healing. Thank you for turning me around. Thank you for saving me. I'm saved by the power divine uh, saved uh, through his life supply life man is sweet uh. you're standing on your feet in this house yeah. I got a song that the angels can't sing. Glory. Hallelujah. I've been redeemed. <laughs> I've been redeemed. So Y'all too quiet up in here. <laughs> because if you really thought about what the Lord brought you from, uh, you'll be ready to run around this church. If you really thought about what the Lord has done, uh, that he didn't made you a preview. Uh, and it's getting gooder and gooder, better and better.
right there. Give them a shout right there. Give them a shout right there. Give them a shout right there. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone because I know who holds my future and life is worse. Do I have any old saints up in here? Living just because. Just for me. Just for me. Jesus came and did it. Just for me. <laughs> Just It's about Jesus came and did it just It's personal now. Just for me. Just for me. Just for me. And Father, I thank you for the word that you have spoken on today. God, you showed us the greatest sign of resurrection. It's one thing if they said that you and you alone had rose, then people could say that the disciples stole your body they could say that you never really died but when they saw many Old Testament saints walk in the streets of Jerusalem they knew then you were the son of God hallelujah Father, I pray right now that as we come to this eternal moment, there are some right now, God, that the cross is still 
the barricade over their door because they keep saying I can save myself they keep saying I don't need Jesus and the enemy wants to bind them the enemy wants to destroy their minds with depression suicidal spirits hopelessness but father I thank you that when we say Jesus be my representative yes. when we say Jesus be my advocate when we say Jesus be my savior God you apply what Jesus did on my behalf and you remove the cross the cross goes from being a cross to a key to eternal life and the doors are open in my life father I pray right now come on saints help me right here you will touch the hearts of those that you're dealing with right now God you're dealing with their hearts they may be oh God have never accepted you maybe they are backslidden and they said I want to just fully be restored back to my relationship with you God this is the Sunday where everything changes and over 2,000 years later it's still the Sunday where it's still changing and I give you the praise in Jesus name those of you while your heads are still bowed you say Bishop I'm not saved and I want Jesus to be my savior I can't save myself I still look like my old life I'm wrestling with demons I'm wrestling with my bad decisions. I'm tired. I want a clean life, a clean slate. I want a change to happen in my life. I want a new beginning to happen in my life. I'm backslidden and I want to be restored. I want to be restored back to peace. I want to be restored back to hope and to freedom. I want to be back in the will of God at least five of you that came today that this message ministered to you God says I am the way the truth and the life I want you to come to me right now I want you to come to me right now you may have to look at somebody and say listen come on let's go up together and get prayer because you've been battling long enough God says, I want to give you a new beginning. When you see us up here, you're looking at previews. You're looking at previews. You're looking at previews. Can somebody give God a hand of praise right now? There's at least three or four that need to come. There's at least three or four that needs to come. Watch this. What makes you go to the movie is the preview. What makes you go to the restaurant is the preview. What made you buy that product was the preview. What made you buy the tickets to the concert was the preview. I pray that I become such a preview until you would try my Jesus. There's at least three or four that need to come right now and say, Bishop, I need a church home. I need a church home. I need a faith community where I can grow. I need a faith community where I can know that I'm connected and I'm walking in the will of God and that I would be empowered to discover my destiny. Pastor Patricia and I would love to pastor you. Help you move into the next chapter after chapter in your life. Do you know that Jesus could have said, I quit. And God would have sent a legion of angels, 12 legions, the Bible said, to rescue him. But because he decided, 
I wish I had some help up in here. It's not that I can't quit. My elder brother showed me we don't quit. That there, from a crown of thorns to a crown of life, I've decided to make Jesus my choice. Is there anyone else that says, I want, I want, I want to be saved. I want to join this church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ten more seconds. I'm just, I don't want anybody to miss God in this moment. It's not about emotions, it's about decision. That's see, that's that's the key thing. It's not about emotions. It is saying, yes, Lord. Somebody say, yes, Lord. And Father, I praise you for those that have come up. I praise you for what you're doing. God, let the seed of this word remind us the price, the price you paid for our salvation. The price you paid to reverse the curse and God we give you the glory in Jesus name can we give God a resurrection praise right now come on on this Sunday can you give him a resurrection praise hallelujah yes. it's offering time in the house of the Lord can you give the Lord another hand praise for the offering that we're receiving yeah I want you to prepare your gifts unto the Lord. We're getting ready to let you go. Hallelujah. Did you all enjoy the 9 o'clock service? Y'all like this schedule? I only heard you. I ain't heard nobody else, Doris. Doris from St. Louis. Yeah, let's get it done. Service over went already? An hour and a half? Hey, Jesus. <laughs> Angela. Tell Angel, tell the love family we love that we celebrate them right now. Angel had her baby, y'all. She had her baby. We celebrate what God is doing in the love Raleigh family. Listen, I want you, I want you to prepare your gifts unto the Lord. And um, this, this Wednesday, the Lord's been dealing with me. I know that we have selected someone to minister this Wednesday. But the Lord has put an urgency in my spirit. and I need to change the schedule. I feel prayer in my spirit. Amen. I feel prayer Amen. in my spirit. Amen. I want everybody under the sound of my voice to meet me at 7 o'clock on the dot. And we're going to pray for one hour. I'm not even going to do the commercials on that night. I feel to pray. And this is the thing. It's two things that are happening. There's a war that's happening in the month of April, and I feel it in my spirit. The enemy is trying to do some things because he know breakthroughs are coming and manifesting in this month. There's some things that's getting ready to happen, but we've got to pray it through. Are you all hearing me? This is the first Wednesday of the month. I want you to come and meet me, and then we will shift you until maybe the next Wednesday, and I appreciate uh, our ministry staff the Lord been dealing with me for the last day or so. He said, I need my people to come and be, because I've got to gird them up. I don't want you all to be online watching for those of you all that can make it out. I need you to come and represent your family. Because I'm praying a special prayer. Amen. Amen. And then today would have been the last day of our pledges. I don't know. Um, if we are
there with our pledges, and uh, we're still 15,000 shy. How many know that God's going to get that for us? Yes. In the next couple of Sundays, you're going to start seeing transformation on the stage. We're going to start painting, and we're going to start doing other things that's going to start preparing us for our new look. Amen? Amen. Amen. I want you to stand on your feet, everybody. Don't miss next Sunday, the next two Sundays. We're going to continue the Open Door series. Uh, you don't want to miss it. It's going to get better. I said good at one time, and I had folks say, that ain't a word. <laughs> okay, all right. Better, okay. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. And God, we thank you right now because it's been a beautiful Sunday morning. Now, Father, I pray over every family that came. I pray over everyone that heard the word. I pray, oh God, that the seed of the word would take root in their heart, that they will recognize, oh God, we now have eternal life. The barricade has been removed because Jesus became the last Adam and the lost fruit and restored what was stolen from you. And because of that, God, you said, case dismiss over all of our lives, saved by grace. And Father, we receive it, we celebrate because our healing is now restored. Our victory is restored. Our peace is being restored. Our, the life that we were meant to live is being restored. A wonderful change is coming over us because you've changed our lives and now we're free. Finish what you started. God, the offering that we receive. We thank you right now that God is going into our future even as we plant it right now. And God, as we move forward, we're going to have a harvest waiting on us because you said that if we would sow, we would reap a harvest. I speak a hundredfold return over your people. All week long, healing, miracles, favor, blessings, open doors on the lives of your people. We speak this Easter prayer in Jesus' name. One more time, clap your hands and give God some praise right now. I want you to come from wherever you are. Bring your offering unto the Lord. And as you bring your offering, consider yourself Dismiss. If you don't have an offering, touch the basket because I'm believing that this will be a 100% tithe giving yes. church. Come on, somebody. Give the Lord a praise right now. Worship team, come on, lead us into worship at this time. If you're a first time guest or you're not a member, or if you're a member, if you want to greet me for five minutes, I'm going to be right down here, me and Pastor Patricia. Somebody say happy Let Easter.
Next service at 11.30. Oh,